and she was just like, listen, I think I should just cut this off now. Like, you're great, but you're not what I'm looking for. I'm really sorry. So I ended up going to the game with a friend later that night. I looked up at the kiss cam, and there she was with some other guy at the game. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. I'm Michaela, and I'm gonna go around and ask my coworkers, what's your most depressing story about love? I'm also gonna make them wear this dumb hat so they realize how stupid they are for falling in love in the first place. After hearing all their depressing ass stories, you'll be happy you're single. How do I? Yeah, this is very upsetting. Why is Zach in trouble? <laughs> is he in trouble because he's single? Yeah. High school. We used to do this thing where you could buy roses for people and they would get delivered in class and you'd be like super popular if you got some. And no one ever sent me any f***ing roses, so I made up names and sent some to myself. Oh. Don't off me, Ashley. So <laughs> Whatever. F***ing looked cool for the day. And self-love is the best kind of love, am I right? My most depressing story about love is that I spent most of my life like pining after random dudes who didn't care and then ended up dating my friends. But one day you'll find love. It'll be fine. I was at an amusement park with my friends and I was with this one of my guy friends and he does this and what I'm thinking he's doing is going like, well, come on. Turns out what he was doing was putting his hands just in his, in his pockets. When he realized what I was doing, he was like, uh-uh. And instead of taking that as a physical like hint to stop what I'm doing, I just, forced my arm in between his arm and his torso until finally I was like, oh. So I went through his phone and I was like searching for a name, right? And I couldn't find anything. So I was like, let's get creative. So I searched for the word babe. And I put search and I found all the different times that he had called somebody else babe. So I found that he was talking to this other guy. I decided, I was like, okay, maybe we can like get past this. and. When I decided to lay next to him, the bed broke in half down the middle. Ikea beds, you know? And then um, we just decided to break up, and that was that. Yo, a disclaimer, this is Matt Petty, and I was mad young. I put that shit in there. I was mad young. Like, yo, she used to come in the home late. I'm like, take a shower before you go to bed. I'm big on that. But she didn't do it, and she used to work in the restaurant. And then one day I woke up, there's a piece of chicken on my bed and then we broke up. <laughs> and honestly, I was offended because just let me hold your arm, you asshole. We're friends. Whatever. I haven't talked to him since. I hope he sees this, and I hope he hates where he's at in life. I'm just kidding, I hope he's happy or whatever. I don't, I don't, I don't want everyone to be happy.